Sometimes everything just gets hard Sometimes everything just gets harder Feeling like I'm missing some parts Days just keep on getting much darker Even when I'm down in the low I remember what you were saying Sometimes all you need is a spark What is up everyone? Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new in today's video, I'm going to be doing a wig review on this wig that I have on right here. This video is extra special because it is in collaboration with my girl Gladys, aka Is That Your Hair. She's amazing and she is doing a holiday series on her YouTube channel and she wanted little old me to do a video with her and I was like, girl, yes. So we are both going to be featuring red hair in our video. So make sure after you are done with this one, you head on over to her channel. I will leave a link to it down in the description box below. Show her some love. And if you are coming from Gladys' channel, hey girl, what's up, how you doing, welcome. But yeah, if you guys wanna hear all of my thoughts and opinions on this wig, let's go ahead and get started. So if you guys do not know who Gladys is, she is absolutely amazing and she is one of my really good friends here on YouTube. We are always talking, chatting, sending messages, and and the support is real when I tell you guys like I upload a video she is there she is always there she's always showing love and I really support it and I do the same for her so when she reached out to me and she was like hey I'm gonna do this is that your hair holiday series you want to be a part of it you want to collab I was like duh a couple of days ago she messaged me and she was like how do you feel about doing red for our collab and I was like girl you always got me out here in some color because our first collab that we did a few months back we did neon bobs y'all that is one thing that i really do admire about her is that she is not afraid to try different styles different colors she's not afraid to take some scissors and cut these wigs up because in every single video i swear she got a pair of scissors or a little razor and she is just doing her own thing little like edward scissor hands type of stuff the wig that i'll be featuring in today's video is bobby boss galaxy and i have it in a color 99j so this wig has a silk base 4x4 inch closure area it is heat safe it doesn't say up to how many degrees but i would assume like 400 that's typically kind of the temperature i have had my eye on this wig for quite some time and i was originally going to get it in a natural color but then my girl was like you know what let's feature red and i was like whatever you say like i'm down so i got this in a 99j and i'm really excited to try it out so here's what galaxy looks like straight out of the box i am already in love like this color is gorgeous and i'm really happy that gladys wanted to do red because initially I was about to get this wig in a regular old color, you know me, plain Jane, but I love this. It's so pretty, it's subtle, but then like when it hits the light, it's bright and pretty and I just, I'm excited. I haven't tried a 99J in a while. So the cap construction of this wig, you do get the lace from ear to ear and then you have that silk base right here in this 4x4 area. There are three combs, two on the left and right hand side. There's one right here in the middle, and then you do have one in the back. Did I say three combs? I meant four combs. <laughs> and there is adjustable straps as well. It actually kind of looks pre-plucked a little bit, which is nice. I wasn't expecting that. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw this on, see how she fits, and then I will cut off the lace and get to styling this wig. So I will be right back. I didn't think that it was asymmetrical, but now that I have it on, it is, it's very slight. Here is what the hairline looks like. It's not bad, not bad, looks kind of good. It is fitting a little bit tight on my head, so I think I'm gonna take my wig grip off. I think that it will make it feel a lot better because right now it is kind of snug, so I'm just gonna go ahead and take my wig grip off and then I'll put it right back on. But right off the bat, y'all, I am loving this. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> oh my God, this is gorgeous. back and I'm done styling this wig I did decide to wear it as a right side part I typically am a middle part girl but I just really wasn't you know feeling this wig as a middle part but I like that you get that 4x4 closure area so you do have free parting within that space so you can wear it as a right or a left or a middle part whichever you choose and you don't have to worry about shifting the wig which I like I did apply some powder in the parting space and I tweezed a little bit along the hairline and that was it the baby hairs on this wig are short and sparse, which I like. I did use just a little bit of the baby hairs right here, mainly because they wouldn't lay down. I did also use some foam and my hot comb just to flatten out around the parting space so that you could actually see the part and that it wasn't, you know, too humpy because this wig does have a lot of body. 
So let's get into what I love about this wig. I love this style. I like that it is slightly asymmetrical. I did go ahead and flatten the front pieces out so that they weren't super bumped because I like that look better than the curve down here at the bottom. On me, this wig is about 12 inches and it is slightly asymmetrical, but it's nothing drastic. So if you're somebody who doesn't really care for asymmetrical bobs, I think that you would like this one. And if you didn't, you wouldn't have to cut much, but maybe like a quarter of an inch and then it would be kind of, you know, blunt all the way around. I love this color. I love that the 99J is bright, but it's not bright to where it's like magenta. But if you go out in the sun, it's going to be popping. The texture of this wig is bomb. It is definitely a yakky texture. I don't have any crinkles or anything like that. It is on the thicker side. So just keep that in mind if you're wearing this wig around the summertime or whenever it starts to get hot wherever you live. It's probably gonna bring some heat to your neck, so just, you know, keep that in the back of your mind. But this is such a pretty wig. Like, I am in love. And the fact that it was so easy to style, that's what really does it for me because I don't have time to be fussing with these wigs, especially when I got places to go, things to do. I'm not trying to be out here, you know, in my bathroom for like 45 minutes fussing with a wig. And this wig is a no fuss, no muss. So I'm here for it. So I do want to mention that this wig does shed. It's not coming out in clumps or anything like that. And for me, in my opinion, I can overlook that because I love this wig. Y'all know if I love a wig, girl, I don't care if it sheds. Okay. It's not coming out in clumps or nothing crazy, but with a white t-shirt, I am seeing a few burgundy strands. I also did pluck the hairline, so that could be contributing to the shedding that I'm getting. I do wish that this wig was big head friendly only because I love it so, so much, but having a 99J did make it a little bit harder to blend in my edges because obviously my hair is not burgundy, but I utilized, you know, just a little bit of the baby hairs, and I think that my edges that are peeking out right here I mean, it's not horrible. I'm not really pressed about it. So if you don't mind it, you're good. If you have a smaller head, this wig is going to fit you perfectly. And I'm jealous. But it is what it is. This is what God gave me. There's really nothing negative about this wig. Like, I love it. The shedding, I can look past. And like I said, it's not coming out in clumps or anything like that. I haven't gotten any tangling. And because of the length, I really don't expect any. Um, but yeah, like this wig is bomb and I'm really happy that I finally picked it up because I have had my eye on this wig Y'all don't know for how long and I don't know what has stopped me or what has made me, you know Hesitant about purchasing it, but I'm very happy that I can add her to my collection because she is cute I will leave a link to where you can purchase this wig down in the description box below. That is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you check out my girl Gladys' video and show some love. Subscribe to her channel and subscribe to mine if you have not already. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!